to the 35 survivors that we are celebrating tonight, I've been in your shoes. I'm having deja vu of the Hearts and Hands celebration um, from 2014. So you'll excuse me if I get a little emotional. Um, that day, July 12th, 2013, my husband found me unresponsive. It was a Friday morning. And he called 911. The house phone didn't work. So he called on his cell, but he panicked. And he thought, I should go get help. So he ran next door to the neighbors. She didn't answer the door right away. She was a, a school teacher, and it being July, she was home, but she didn't answer the door right away. So he ran across the street to another neighbor's house, stay-at-home mom. She answered the door. Those two ladies gave me CPR that day. One of the paramedics on my call is here tonight. There's a firefighter from Wesley Chapel Fire Department that was also on my call that's here tonight. Um, they um, continued the CPR. I was shocked five times on scene. 13 days in the hospital, a week in ICU and a week on the cardiac floor, two different hospitals. Pineville in Maine. And I did walk out of that hospital. Yeah, in a wheelchair. <laughs> to the survivors, it's it's tough. It's tough being a, a, a cardiac arrest survivor. Um, you know, um, I'm going to celebrate my seventh three birthday in July. Thank you. That makes me an Aries and a Cancer. <laughs> and my husband knows I better get present and cake at both. So you, you milk that rebirth day, okay? I'll give you that advice. It's going to be a psychological, spiritual, emotional, physical journey, okay? Um, but take it one step at a time. One day at a time. Okay, it'll get easier. A couple years after my cardiac arrest, I decided I would become a CPR instructor. So I went to SPCC right here in Monroe and became a CPR instructor for the American Heart Association. I tell my survivor story at every single CPR class. February is Heart Health Month, and I hope to reach 800 people. I'm at the high 700s right now. So I am about to reach 800 people I have taught CPR. So I started from the heart CPR. And with that, with donations, fundraisers, and, and funds from my classes, I take those funds and I pull them together and I purchase AEDs, those automated external defibrillators that are so important to us survivors. And I am donating my ninth AED tonight. I chose your hearts and hands celebration to donate my ninth. And it's going right here in Union County. So the recipient is the Optimist Club. They have an athletic field at Wesley Chapel Weddington. And the soccer fields are going to receive my AED tonight. And here's your AED. Um, part of the stipulation of receiving an AED from me is that the recipient, the nonprofit, receives CPR, if not from me, from someone, and that they know how to use that AED, and that they also reach out on social media, however they can, to you know just spread awareness about AEDs and CPR. 
You can say something. I, I mean, everybody else is very fantastic speakers, and then you're going to put a soccer coach up here, so uh, I apologize for that. Um, I get on. I'm honored that I get to uh, say that I'm one of the 700 and however many people that Karen has taught. Um, I'm also going to recertify with her. We're hosting a course this Sunday uh, at Optimus Park in Weddington. So uh, I've been at the Athletic Association for 14 years, and luckily I've never had to experience using one of these yet. But because of Karen, we have three now at our park, um, which is fantastic, and I, I fear that the day is probably coming. But again, because of her, we're going to have a whole lot of people who know how to use it. Um, and just looking around this room, there's a whole lot of people here that can help us. So thank you guys for everything that you do.